I'm Buzz Stoddard with Cruising Yachts here in beautiful Marina del Rey. Uh, I'd like to show you through our newest listing, uh, Star Chaser, a 99 Hunter 310, 31-footer. And we're very, very pleased with this listing. Um, I sold it to its current owner. They're now moving up. And um, uh, I'm very pleased with the way the boat has been maintained and, uh, uh, and upgraded. Um, over the past couple of years. I always notice in terms of seamanship, I look at the, the fenders, they're not touching the water, they're clean, they're not rubbing dirt on the hull. Um, details of a well cared for uh, boat. Um, I also always look at the, <laughs> at the bow, the stem of the boat, to see if, how, what kind of driver it is if he's running into the docks all the time. But um, the boat's in beautiful condition, it's nicely equipped. Uh, and over the last couple of years, there have been um, uh, quite a number of, uh, of upgrades, and we'll go through some of those uh, in the cockpit, in the rig, and uh, down below. So let's go aboard Star Chaser. Welcome to the cockpit of Star Chaser. There have been a number of upgrades since I sold the boat to the current order owners uh, a couple of years ago. Um, the first uh, is the uh, autopilot. You can see the autopilot can control here. Uh, also, the VHF was relocated to the cockpit where all the uh, VHFs should be. Uh, the Garmin here. And then our instrumentation up here includes speed and log or distance, depth, and a, a, a wind instrument to show us true and relative wind and direction and speed. Uh, so let's, um, let's go below and uh, check out some of the features down there. Welcome to the main salon of Star Chaser, uh, the Hunter 310. And uh, you'll notice the, uh, the beautiful woodwork in here. It's all old growth teak, which is now illegal in, in Europe and for various reasons not generally used in boat construction here in the US. Uh, but this uh, predated that a little bit in 1999. You can see the quality of the grain, the finish work, uh, the doors with the uh, raised panels. It's a very light, airy, open um, uh, layout and um, Hunter's known for that, for uh, ergonomic interiors and features and um, I think it's a place where you can you can be very comfortable. Uh, all of the hoses and belts on the engine are brand new. The engine sump is completely dry and clean. Um, it shows no signs of corrosion or leakage or anything like that. Um, good sign. Relatively low engine hours um, for a boat like this. We usually estimate about 100 hours a year for a recreational uh, auxiliary sailboat. Uh, this is probably half that. Welcome to the Galio Star Chaser. It's really nicely fit out with a two burner stove with the uh, oven below, microwave above, uh, convenient uh, cutting block there, and uh, quite a deep sink with the, uh, the trash conveniently located here too. Here's the head on Star Chaser. As you can see, it's a brand new faucet and shower. Um, the counter is Corian, uh, an ideal marine uh, material. Welcome to the top sides, uh, the deck of the uh, Hunter 310. It's um, very clean and nicely laid out. Uh, I like the two-tone, the gray non-skid is a nice feature. And, um, but most notably on the Hunters is the rig. Um, it's a B&R rig. BNR stands for Bergstrom and Ritter, a couple of uh, famous, uh, world famous naval architects uh, from Sweden. And they set out to design a rig that was much stronger than conventional rigs and suitable for racing single handedly around the world. We're back in the cockpit here. Um, I'd like to point out that we have four cabin top winches, I think two are standard. Uh, for use with the, uh, the sheets, the outboard ones for the, uh, the jib sheet and uh, the halyards and control lines on the, uh, the, the inboard winches. Come on down and have a look. Cruising Yachts in Marina Del Rey on Valley Way. I'm Buzz Stoddard and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks very much.